Hello and welcome back. It's Judd with South and Bushcraft. And uh, I took about an eight month break. I ain't posted a video out. I ain't putting no content on Instagram. You know, my Facebook page is going kind of dormant, but uh, I'm finally back. So what I wanted to tell you is, uh, is I got a new phone. So I hope videos are gonna be a lot better than it was before. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna I got some new updates to do. <laughs> anyway, I got a uh before I had that junk phone. There's my hat flip. Sorry. Oh yeah, see, got the new demolition shirt from uh, Matt from Demolition Ranch. You know, I watched that show that uh, channel too. So it's pretty cool. We got a lot of nice toys to play with on that show. But uh, I figured I. Here, do a little shout out to him on, on his channel. And uh, plus, I got cool t shirts. If you haven't looked at him, you know, check him out, Demolition Ranch, and uh, check out his uh, his uh, business thing, you know, t shirts and stuff, uh, Bunker Branding. Check them out too. But what I wanted to show you was let me see if I can turn this camera around. Nope, it ain't gonna work. Nope, that ain't gonna work either. So, uh, anyway. Let me try this again. Nope. Anyway, I do it this way. There's more one way to skin a cat. But before, my tripod that I had to hold my phone up while I do all the videos is this. Do you see what it is? <laughs> okay, I'll give you a breakdown. This part down here, and you see a little screw right there from to about right where that is right there is a guitar stand. And uh, this part from this with a little button as you can see right there to that electrical tape is a selfie stick. <laughs> oh, it was my daughter's. I found it in the trunk of her car. She never even used it. Okay, well to make it adjustable, if you can see right there, that is part of an adjustable shower head. So, hey, you got to get a little redneck ingenuity in there every now and then. Now, you got to do what you got to do. Well, there's the rest of the selfie stick right there. But, problem with it is, it's broke. And uh, I've glued it and glued it. And every time you put the phone in there, it cracks. So... My cheap self goes on online. Look what I got now. Anyway, that'll make it a lot better. I think so anyway. So let me see what I can do here. I'm gonna try to pause this thing and then I'm gonna I figured that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna pause this thing and jump back on here. We're gonna get into why I was really gonna do this video. Okay, here we go, and uh, I hope you can still see me pretty good, and I'm pretty sure Matt likes the fact <laughs> all this is in the picture, so I mean, this is the only shirt I got on, so hey, I'm wearing it, I paid for it, but uh, I'm sure they appreciate the business too, so, but uh, what I was going to tell you is, I'm doing a channel update, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm changing my name, not drastically, uh, but I'm kind of singled out there, you know, if I want to do other stuff out here on, uh, you know, in the outdoors, you know, and everything's not just bushcraft related. Uh, in the beginning, you know, that was the thing, you know, Southman bushcraft, you know, you go out there and you do stuff in the woods, you can make little things, make fires, shelters, whatever. But the more I'm getting into it, the more. It's progressing on and on. It's not just bushcraft. You know, it's wilderness living skills. It's survival. It's uh, it's prepping. It's uh, you know, it's guns. You know, if you, it's hunting. You know, it's it it's a wide variety of everything. So what I'm gonna do is instead of Southland bushcraft, and I hope YouTube let this you know go through without me making a whole new channel. 
but uh, I'm going to try to change it, but uh, it's just going to be Southman Outdoors. And I figured that would that would give it a wide variety, you know, and I hope it's a little catchy too. Uh, good thing I ain't made a lot of t-shirts, so whenever I get more t-shirts made, oh, Southman Outdoors. You know, and it may have a knife on it or a gun on it or something. Else. But uh, that's the channel update. And now, since uh, I ain't made a video in about eight months, and I hope this one's going on pretty good. Uh, on Instagram, I think it was, I got some new toys. And I gave a little sneak peek, you know, of different things that I got. Well, I got three things. Well, I take it back four. Well, one is actually a half. So three and a half. So put the third one with the half and it makes a fourth and you know, do the math. <laughs> Don't mind. Anyway, you'll like it. There's a bunch of videos out there about it. It's the the what is it, C A A? Uh, MKT micro conversion kit or NCK or something. Been a lot of videos on it, but uh, I got with my new stuff. And what I'm gonna do here is break it open. You know, look, look down the barrel, nothing. You know, you can see empty, no magazine. Safe direction, fired it out. But uh, this right here is my Glock 19. You know, that's not pointing. It may look like it, but it's not pointing at my face. It's away from me, and it's a safe distance. There's nobody out here with me but a bunch of junk cars in a junkyard. So, Matt, if you want to come to Georgia sometime and shoot up some stuff, I can take the front end loader. We can move some cars. We can shoot some junk up if you want. It don't matter. But anyway. What I want to show you, this is my new everyday carry kind of thing. It's a Glock 19X. I love it. Uh, I love the 19X. The thing is, when I got it, I got a, 19, I got a 17 too. One second. Let me go get that too. How about that? I have both of them right here. Okay. With the power of a pause button, there's two. But anyway, this is my 17. And as you can see, unloaded no magazine i'm going to put this back in my holster but it's still unloaded but i'll recheck it when i pull it back out again because that's what i do all right safe direction boom fired nothing 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 see there all right here's my 17. here's my 19. safe direction no magazine, no nothing, clear. See how they're just a little bit, one's a little longer than the other. But, if you put them side by side, what they did, is they took a Glock 19, put a Glock 17 bottom on it. The only difference in the two is this little thing right here, and this is just a piece that slides in there. You can replace that. Put one of these little Punisher skull things in here like I did with this one. I got that on the back of this one. See, it's over my shoulders, not pointing at my face. And, uh, but anyway, the problem with it was, get the magazine. Both of them's unloaded. As you know, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep saying that because I don't want somebody out there in YouTube land going, hey, he's pointing a gun in unsafe directions. Both of them's unloaded. I just showed you. Here's the magazine. But I'm not going to put it in the weapons because these are loaded. All right. See this little spot right here. On the Glock 19X, what it is, see, this is a mag pool. All right. And when it goes in there, now hang on, let me get it in the right direction. Okay. When it goes in there, see, it'll actually go in that groove right there. Just like that. Because this part is short, close to the body of the magazine all right on the 17 it doesn't have that because it'll actually it don't matter but the gen 5 17 the base plate is longer 
for some reason they decided to change the base plate. I have no idea why. So to remedy that thing, I changed the base plates on all of them. And I found, you know, kind of a cool one right here with the Punisher skull on it. But this part right here is shorter. So now it goes in there. And it don't matter about the 17. So the 19X and the 17 with the uh, the 17, 17 round magazine, 18 round magazine, they'll fit both guns now. So I don't have to keep changing and say, oh, just give me the tan ones. No, it don't matter. I can take the tan ones, throw it in this one, throw it in this one. We're good to go. All right. These are the two. All right, this one is the one I'm gonna fix the showcase. This is my, you know, this is my everyday carry, so. That one's getting put up. This one, show you again, it's empty, nothing in the chamber, look in there, no magazine. See, nothing in there. That micro conversion kit. Yeah, here you go. This is it. It's still a pistol. It's got a brace, but you can shoulder it. Oh, uh, it's still considered a brace. It's rubber. Pretty good. Folds up real compact. You can put it in there. Like I said, there's a bunch of daggum things about this, but. 17 i got it set up this is set up for a glock 19 and a glock 17. you see i got it set on 17. the only difference is you have to take the screw out slide the barrel out and then stick it in there all right and this one get your grooves right lock it in there lock it forward you hear that snap that snap that button will pop up so now, you got a, you got a little weapon, but ambidextrous charging handles. However you want to do it, you can look through it, make sure it ain't loaded, everything's fine. All right, and since I don't use this a whole lot, it's pretty much for fun, I'm not going to carry it. You know, unless, you know, I got my regular sidearm, I got this going, you know, I'm out here in the woods. I didn't want to spend a whole lot on flip-up sites. So, for the power of the internet, I found these two cheapies. See right here? It's got little things. It's got a line on the back. It's got a line on the back. I don't see if you can see that. But anyway... You can line all that stuff up. It's got two different reticles and stuff. But it doesn't flip up automatically like the magpoles. So. But I don't want that for this one. But this one, you can you can both eyesight. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. So we're going to try this out. This is the maiden voyage of this thing. Sights have not been sighted. I'm probably 50 yards. I'm going to put on ears and eye protection just a second before I even load it and go down there and shoot it. But I'm going to show you that target setup I got too. By the power of ingenuity. <laughs> when you don't have all this fancy stuff and you have to do what you can do, you know, you have to make what you can make. Uh, I got a lot of junk laid around. So the only thing I did was I bought one target and... Uh, Found some old motor grader blades, and I found out that motor grader blades are good for hand uh, pistol targets, but they're not quite hard enough for 5.56 five, or 223 or 308. Uh, no, they don't like those, they dimple bad, but handgun targets. Handgun, you know, shooting with handguns, perfect. So, I'm going to take you down there.
Let me lay this down. I'm going to take you down there and let you see my setup. Okay. Here we go. See, look. Got my glasses. They are approved shooting glasses. Uh, got my Walker game mirrors. But it, well, the rain washes out some crazy stuff. Just, thought it was a snake. I was thinking to jump and drop the camera. But uh, that's a whole muffler fight. Uh, I guess when all this rain we had, it, all the leaves just died. I've been driving across there, Dick. Yeah. Driving across there, didn't even know it was there. That was smart. Throw freaking fire ants on me. I was going to see what kind of mag wheel it was. Oh, four load, like. Oh, come off Toyota. But anyway, let's get back. Here we go. Ta-da! Look at that. Anyway, see? My motor grader blades. And then my center target. It's only rated for pistol ammo. Uh, and, being as how I'm in a junkyard, digging around some of these old cars. See those oil filters? <laughs> Have a back of a truck full of brand new old stock oil filters that ain't no good for nothing else but shooting anyway so here's what i did see yeah, been shooting that but i just took me some t-post put me a two before on it put me some screws on it i i am going to upgrade sorry for the because the only thing that's holding it in there <laughs> That one little screw going into that two before right there on both sides. But it's been sitting up there for eight, nine months. So it ain't moved. So let me get some stuff and then we're gonna try this out. Set this thing down right here. Man, I really like this tripod. I ain't used to this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust everything. And then we're gonna see how that thing works. I am hang on, where's my marker? 525, where's my marker? Okay, here we go. We are about 25 yards. So it'd be fine, you know, shoot that. Probably ain't even gonna hit it, but we will see. Be right back. Okay, we are back, and what I'm gonna do is uh, once again, it's not loaded right yet. I have them right here in my hand, but uh, we're gonna try this on them targets. And as you can see, the little sights is pretty good. They pretty much on sight. And I gotta go put a little round target back on. But I just got it hanging on some nail, some uh, screws that's sticking in the board like this. So this works pretty good. Now, as you can see, it's open. No magazine. Safe direction. It's unloaded. So what I'm gonna do is see I got a few left in here so I'm gonna go ahead and empty this out and then I'm gonna go get another one we're gonna try it And look, he even stays locked back. 
you can even see in there. I don't know. If, I don't know if you can see in there, but hey. But uh, hey, it's empty. I gotta go set the torch back up. We're gonna try it again. All right, here we go. And uh, it's starting to rain on me. Believe that. Oh well, we can still shoot. All right, my second one that I was going to show is uh, on my uh, Instagram. Is this is unloaded too? Look, nothing in there. No magazine. It's empty. Uh, here's the magazine. This is the M&P uh, 2.0 40 caliber by Smith and Wesson, and. Uh, this is my first time firing this weapon. Uh, so I'm gonna try it out. I hope it runs fine. I've never even pulled the trigger on it other than what you've just seen. So let's try it before the rain catches, it's too bad. <laughs> 